I am Luke. Today on Out of Darts, we are checking out the Skubo. Designs like this are one of my favorite parts of the hobby. Let's get going. This is referred to as the Skubo. The Skubo is a amalgamation of a couple different things. First of all, this one specifically was printed and put together by my buddy, Dr. Flux. We did a little trade for a Luchadora, which was a nice, nice way to get another blaster or something unique without having to do all of the little assembly and little bits uh, on my limited time frame. At the core of the Skubo is, of course, a skewer. Here's a skewer that I reviewed a few months back. And uh, it's a really fun little blaster, hits really hard, uh, uses standard Captain Slug hardware. The blaster itself was designed by Silly Butts, the external parts, and then he took the skewer designed by Taffy, which is Caramile Designs, and put it inside of here. So the interior components are essentially the same as the skewer, hence skewbow, skew crossbow. The crossbow is a legendary blaster in the Nerf hobby. It's not only uh, one of my childhood favorite blasters that I never got to own, but it is a fan favorite for all, all kinds of modification and integrations. I know both Drac and Coop and others have done uh, a number of different uh, designs which take the shell and body of a crossbow and put it somewhere else. One of the sad things about that is there are very few of them around anymore. A lot of them have been trashed and are probably sadly sitting in landfills. So when they do show up, they tend to be pretty expensive, which is actually the reason why I don't personally have one here. I do at some point have to limit how many things just sit on my wall and don't get played with. Enter 3D printing. And this is what I just love about this hobby is that all this time and effort and work went into such a unique niche product. I had the sharpshooter, but not a lot of other Nerf blasters. I always wanted the crossbow. Uh, my neighbor had it and we all loved playing with it. It was by far the most popular of the blasters we played with it. And uh, I did get to use it quite a few times as a kid in our indoor Nerf battles. So I do remember it. I did love the color. It was a nice purple, really, really, really cool blaster. Coming back to this blaster close to 30 years later, you really quickly realize that uh, things aren't the way you remember them. Much like how the sharpshooter handle felt really big in my hands, and I remember it being very, very comfortable, um, it's a little small. <laughs> and the same can say, be said ergonomically for the crossbow. The grip itself is actually a little bit awkward. It's a little bit squared off and uncomfortable, but ultimately, uh, Silly Butts was really staying true to the original crossbow, not trying to reinvent it. I think he's also, either he or somebody else has also done a version with a larger, more comfortable grip. And I might have to ask Silly Butts what's going on there, because I would love to have a sort of reimagined grip that's a little bit larger and it doesn't stay true to the original form, but is a little more comfortable. But I would totally give that a pass because at the end of the day, this is trying to replicate the original crossbow rather than cutting up the very few of them that still exist to do mods like this. I love this color that he printed in this. It's like a really hot kind of flux pink. And because it's a little bit translucent, you also get this kind of neat, uh, neat look where you can see the gyroid infill. Uh, which I believe this is sliced on Prusa Slicer and printed on. I'm going to assume his minis and his, he's got minis and a Mark III, or he's got a small pharma printers at this point, but it has kind of a neat look that you can actually see all these little striations inside where the gyroid infill, it's like a three-dimensional sort of shape, and hopefully we can show that on camera here in a way that you can see it. This blaster, of course, is short darts only. It takes a Talon magazine, and it is a prime and manual return very satisfying, by the way. I don't think I can, oh, I can, I can do it. <laughs> the function is very easy. It's actually just as easy as a skewer, of course, and the prime is just like the original crossbow, which is a really cool feature. They have definitely enlarged this because I don't think I can fit three fingers in the original crossbow, but I could be mistaken. I really wish I did have one here to, uh, to play with, and we try to fire with nothing in there. 
This blaster delivers the hits just like the skewer. It's got the same guts, so you've got the same options as far as a variety of spring powers and um, a great air seal like you would expect. Definitely when I take this out to actually play, I'll probably put a scar barrel on here, both to make this not a literal skewer, to, you know, like skewer someone with, but also to make it uh, a little bit more um, just generally safe. <laughs> but uh, I think that'll be really nice. I'm looking forward to getting this out on the field. It's definitely <clears throat> a fun blaster. Whoa, whoa, you can see. Oh, that's so cool. Cause it's a little translucent. I can actually see the plunger tube inside. Kind of hard to, hopefully that shows on camera, but it's a little little difficult to see. But I think on our, our B camera here, you can actually see all those parts moving inside, which is kind of neat, I have to say. These types of designs are really, really unique. I, it's great to see all the creativity and effort that went into something so specific and so true to what our hobby does. I love seeing this kind of stuff and I wish personally I had enough time and, and resources to do more random projects like this. But uh, at the moment, my time is, is uh, <laughs> a little too, I'm a little too short on time to take on projects of this level. And on that note, Silly Butts is an absolute maniac. He constantly is putting out new products and uh, new designs and throwing them up into the community. And he's done some of the most unique uh, testing videos and, and he recently did a plunger tube that was completely 3D printed, meaning he acts as a curled piece of flat printed plastic to make the actual plunger tube so you didn't have to use polycarb. Uh, really, really fascinating. And we are talking um, with both creators about hopefully offering kits for this in the future. We might get to printed parts, but that would be way down the road. And then we will have uh, printed hardware kits for pretty much all of the slug or slug community uh, spin-off designs that use the same catalog of hardware. I'm in the middle of bu building out a home workshop for all the metal cutting, the sanding, the tapping of the holes, the drilling of the holes, and the cutting of all the plastic tubing. So getting real close on that, and it should be another couple weeks, and we'll have all of that up and launched. I'd love to hear your opinion on what you think of the Skubo and what other vintage mashups would you like to see brought to the sort of uh, 21st century of Nerf. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching again. Until next time, I'm out of darts. I think the crossbow actually came out in 93, if I'm not mistaken. I might have that a year off. No, 95. Oh my gosh, terrible.